Attention gamers, I'm back with another video game recommendation to get remastered. There's this Game Boy Advance Crash Bandicoot trilogy called Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure. In this game, it's where you have to... It's where when Cortex shrinks the... Uses a machine called the size. Calls the size. Called the shrinking. Called the size. Called the size device. And what it did was shrink the planet all the way down to... It shrunk it down to a really small size while doing it in space. And it was up to Crash to save that to save the world from that and once he finds all the crystals in it it would use to power up a device that could that could stop that could stop cortex himself but you have to go through a series of levels and a few bosses like and a few bosses and once you have finished all of them, collected all the crystals and gems. You have to... You get to take on Cortex himself. There's this video game called Crash Bandicoot Entranced. This is where when Dr. Nefetius Trophy, Trophy is causing more trouble. And what he has to do, he ends up thought of a better plan than Cortex. And what he had to do, he had his secret weapon. Entrance. Master of Hypnosis. And what he had to do was capture, he captured, he, he almost kidnapped Crash, but he ended up successfully capturing Crunch and Coco. But as he was pulled, something was pulling Aku Aku saved, saved Crash from being pulled right into that portal. And what he did, he realized he got to, he got him a power, he pulled him through, but something weird happened. It didn't, there was a creature in it that did not look a thing like, that was a fake Crash. It wasn't even the real thing. They all didn't really know. They didn't know. Dr. Nefarious Trophy did not even know. And neither did Entrance. But after when Crash collects a lot of gems and crystals, he has to collect every piece of the gem of color gems that he has to use to figure out a way to defeat Nefarious Trophy. And what you have to do is after you save Crunch, you, uh, when they saved, after you stop and trance, he's defeated. But then you, after collecting every pieces of the color gems, you get to battle Nefarious Dr. Nefarious Trophy himself. And after defeating him, that's how the game ends. And that is a lot of fun. But then, but finally, there was another game called Crash, called Crash Purple Ripto's, Ripto's Rampage. This game is where Crash meets up with where Dr. Neo Cortex and an evil villain from Spiral's world named Ripto team up and bent on world domination. And what they do, they send scientists and Riptox into both worlds, Spiro's and Crash's. But as Crash and Aku Aku went going after him, they meet up with Spyro and Sparks. And after when Crash defeats him, Ripto, Spyro realizes that, that that Crash and Aku Aku, the rest of the Bandicoots, are not are not one with the enemy. 
and what happened next crash what happened next they all decide they realized that cortex and reptile pitted them against against each other and and what you have to do is keep fighting every boss in that one and it was a lot this game is fun but what happened next is after when you defeat after when you defeat the bosses and collect all the power crystals crash had to go against ripto himself and defeat him but as the professor and the rest of spyro's friends realize what happened they had to they couldn't reach because it was in space they were both in space but then but they found a way to get up there and managed to get up there and defeat cortex once and for all and ripto and that's and then after when they defeat cortex and ripto both worlds were at peace and once again, and Spyro and Crash were now allies. This game was a classic. And it need and I recommend this game to get remastered. So I believe you should talk to people about it in person. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This game was a lot of fun and a real classic. Bye for now. Until next time, please remember to like and subscribe my YouTube channel.